Welcome to our living room on this cool fall day in September. Mm. Oh, so I'm going to share just a really short story today. Um, and before I do that, I'm, I'd, I'd like to share a, a practice that I do. And I've been doing this for, I don't know, maybe 30, 35 years. So the, the, the practice that I like to do is imagine that there's a hand on my head, just, just, just lightly touching the top of my head. Um, you can do that right now. And, and the feeling that, (laughs) thank you very, (laughs) and the feeling that comes with that is a feeling that I'm not alone, that, that I'm, that I'm protected, that, mainly that I'm not alone, Mm -hmm. that I'm loved. And I've asked Barry to sing this song that, that goes with this so, so perfectly. So the story about probably 15 years ago was at our Brighton Bush family retreat, which we haven't been able to do for the past two years because of the pandemic and, and then the fires. But anyway, one of, one of the highlights of that retreat is that we meditate together really early in the morning and the sun is just coming up, and it's a really, really special time. But usually the kids don't join us. It's, it's usually just an adult thing, but sometimes children come too. So on the last morning, what, what Barry and I like to do is go around and touch everyone on the, on the top of their head and just bless them and say a prayer for them. This is so meaningful for us to be able to do that. And this particular year, it was, it was a fairly large group. And so we, after the meditation, we just whispered and I said, well, I'll, t- I'll take this part of the room and Barry would take the other. Well, I guess I was quicker than Barry because I finished and he was, he was still blessing people and saying a, saying a prayer. It takes me a long time to bless people. I guess I'm more efficient. I don't know, but I so I went. I went and sat down in the front of the, in the front of the room, and as I sat down, I thought, I had this thought. That must. I bet that's nice, for people. They're meditating, and and then they feel our our hand on their head, and I looked over at Perry, and he was, fairly far away, bless blessing someone, having his hands were on their head. And so I, I closed my eyes, and I just, I just was really feeling thankful. And as I was feeling thankful, I felt a hand on my head. And my conscious thought was, wow, Barry just came over so quickly, because he, he wanted me to have this nice experience. And I, I just enjoyed it. And I mean, honestly, it only lasted maybe a few seconds, but it was very real. And I opened my eyes, and there was Barry, still across the room, blessing the same person. That person got a very thorough <laughs> blessing. And no one else was around. I even asked people, this, this one man had his eyes open, did you see someone come? No, nobody did. <laughs> and so, so that's only happened to me once where I actually felt a physical presence. But it was enough to let me know that it's real. We are not alone. We are not alone. We are loved. So before Barry starts singing, just close your eyes and if you could just imagine a hand on top of your head blessing you and is to feel such such love and presence. And you can do this anytime, anywhere you are. All right. 
So when you hear Barry's song, you'll, you'll understand why I ask him to sing this. Um, before I sing the song, um, I just want to share that actually my main meditation is uh, actually feeling, and it, for me it's not a hand, it's, it's actually an old Buddhist vipassana practice of sitting and focusing my attention on the top of my head, you know, the crown chakra, the, there's a point right at the top of the head, and I just focus all my energy there until I feel a sensation. And yes, you know, I could, I could translate it into, into feeling like a hand, but um, it's a touch and it's a physical sensation. And I, I lead this meditation sometimes and, and, and people feel that, you know, it's a, a physical sensation right at the top of the head. So. Right. Sometimes I feel all alone With no one to help me Like a child without a home With no comfort near me I just couldn't hear you You seemed so far away So numb I couldn't feel you <laughs> Didn't know you're here to stay You're here, God, all the time Here with me all the time You're here, God, all the time with me all the time you're here God all the time here with me all the time you're here all the time God You're here with me always You're here all the time, God You're here with me always You're here all the time me all the time
So if you could, if you could just close your eyes and just feel that presence, you know, that touch actually, that you're always being blessed. Always being blessed. There are great beings who you can't see, call them angels, masters, call them guides, but they're there and they're blessing you. And it's their great privilege to bless you. So if you can, just feel that touch. And give thanks. Oh, he's saying that so beautifully, Perry. I always have to make one mistake. Yeah, that's just so so I can't it can't be perfect. That's the beauty of it. <laughs> right? It is. So, um you can do this practice as part of your meditation or or outside. But you can also do it in the midst of great activity and stress. Um, about 25 years ago, I fell and, and broke my right leg really badly. Five places in my ankle, two places in my leg. It really, it was a mess. I was in the emergency room and the doctors were explaining the x-ray and the the operation that I was going to have to have and you know, on and on and on. And I just felt so stressed and overwhelmed and sad. I didn't know what to do. And so I, I closed my eyes and I imagined a hand on my head telling me that I was not alone. That even in this place, in the emergency room, with all the pain I was feeling, with everything that was going on, I, I was not alone. That this, that this love, this energy, this light is always, is always there for us. So, yeah. but we're giving you that practice for this week. Yeah. And we send you our our deepest love. Mm, and their gratitude for you to be watching these videos. Yes. Yeah, we're so grateful that you take the time yeah. to watch them. It's our little service. <laughs> All right. Bye-bye. Mm-hmm.